Good afternoon, family, friends, and honored guests. It is my distinct pleasure to welcome you to the commencement exercises for the Martha Lane Collins High School class of 2019. At this time, I would like to provide you with a few reminders. First, please note the location of the nearest fire exit to your seat, illuminated by the word exit in red. In the event of an emergency, we will direct you to access the nearest emergency exit and leave the building in an orderly fashion. Secondly, in order to preserve the dignity of this occasion, we also ask that you silence all cell phones and restrict your movement while students are speaking and performing during the ceremony. We'll give you a couple minutes to do that. We thank you for your cooperation and we will begin momentarily. Good afternoon. I was raised to acknowledge men and women worthy of recognition when they enter a room. Today is such an occasion. I would ask that you rise and join with me in honoring a group of young men and women who are indeed worthy of our recognition. Associate Principal Donna Jones Hawker, along with Assistant Principals Yasmin Fleming and Nate Jepson, will lead the members of the graduating class of 2019 into the building for one final time as students of Martha Lane Collins High School.
Good afternoon. On behalf of the Shelby County Board of Education, Superintendent Dr. James Nyhoff, the faculty and staff of Martha Lane Collins High School, and these outstanding young men and women before us, we welcome you as distinguished guests to the commencement ceremony of the class of 2019. On Monday, we will celebrate Memorial Day across our great nation. It is right and just to remember those brave men and women who have paid the ultimate sacrifice defending our right to live in this great country. At this time, I invite our graduates to rise as we all remain standing and turn our attention to our nation's colors presented by cadets from the Martha Lane Collins High School Army JROTC. And I ask that you remember those brave souls during the national anthem performed by the Martha Lane Collins High School Chorus. Following the anthem, our choir will also sing our state song, My Old Kentucky Home. We ask that you remain standing until the colors have been posted and the cadets have left the floor.
thank you for remaining standing. You may now be seated. We continue by welcoming our esteemed guests on stage. To my right, we have Superintendent of Schools, Dr. James Nyhoff, School Board Chairperson, Mr. Andrew Klein, School Board Vice Chairperson, Mrs. Joanna Friels, Board Member, Ms. Brenda Jackson, Board Member, Mr. Alan Phillips, and Board Member, Ms. Sonia Blackburn. We would also like to recognize our Student Board Representative, Mr. Michael Collins, seated with the senior class. To my left are sitting Principal Dr. Joseph Ellison III, Governor Martha Lane Collins, for whom our school is named, Associate Principal Mrs. Donna jo Jones Hawker, Assistant Principal Mr. Dane Jepson, and Assistant Principal Ms. Yasmin Fleming. Seated with the Martha Lane Collins High School staff behind our graduates, Chief Operations Officer Mrs. Jill Tingle, Deputy Superintendent and Director of Personnel Acquisition and Development Mr. John Leeper, and Director of Student Services, Mr. Mike Clark. We would like to continue our recognitions this morning by introducing the remaining members of the Martha Lane Collins High School Administrative Team. This group of dedicated individuals helps me in providing guidance and leadership to our school, along with the assistant principals who were just introduced. Today they are scattered about our campus ensuring a wonderful and successful ceremony. Administrative team members, if you are present in the gymnasium, please stand as I call your names. Building Assessment Coordinator, Mrs. Nancy Simpson. Counselor, Ms. Rosie Galindo. Counselor, Mrs. Melissa Midkiff. Counselor, Mrs. Melissa Settles. District College and Career Readiness Counselor, Mrs. Susie Burkhardt. Family Resource Youth Service Center Coordinator, Mrs. Shelby Hall. Instructional coach, Mrs. Nikki Canterbury, and instructional coach, Mrs. Tracy Hulesman. Thank you all for standing and being acknowledged. You can be seated. I would like to provide special recognition this afternoon to Mrs. Donna Jones Hawker and Ms. Rosie Galindo, who will be leaving our administrative team to open the new Marnell C. Mormon School here in Shelby County next year. We thank both of these ladies for their collegiality, hard work, and dedication to the success of the students at Martha Lane Collins High School. Several members of the class of 2019 would not have made it today without your effort. We wish you much success as you move on to educate a new group of students next school year. Additionally, we would like to recognize a very special group of educators. The teachers here at Martha Lane Collins High School spend countless hours planning and implementing instruction, learning new instructional strategies and skills in professional learning sessions, and most importantly, caring for our students. These individuals do what they do because they care about kids, and we are grateful for all they have done this school year. With the faculty and staff of Martha Lane Collins High School who are present today, please stand to be recognized. Thank you. Please be seated. The senior class of 2019 would like to thank the teachers of Martha Lane Collins High School for ensuring their growth, both socially and intellectually, over the past five years. Given the many teachers who have worked tirelessly to prepare them for life after high school, selecting one recipient of the Silver Sword Award was challenging. But this class has selected a teacher who has had an extraordinary impact on their lives and hearts. The Silver Sword Award is a great honor because it is a student-selected award. The faculty members who receive this award are given a commemorative plaque and enter the company of past Silver Sword Award recipients. Please help me honor the 2019 Silver Sword a winner, Award winner, Mr. Matt Graham. Mr. Graham, please come forward to be recognized.
At this time, we continue a newer tradition of giving a charge to the graduating class. The individual selected to give the class of 2019 their charge is very close to this class. She served as a math teacher here and has had the pleasure of serving as one of their assistant principals for the last three years. Her impact on their lives is similar to that felt by the previous graduating class, garnering her another opportunity to give the charge to another graduating class at our school. Back by popular demand, ladies and gentlemen, I present Ms. Yasmin Fleming to give the charge to the class of 2019. So, yesterday, on my way to school, my daughter Chloe randomly asked me, Mom, what's a legacy? And I'm often caught off guard by her questions. Truth is, she challenges me more than I like to admit. I do my best in the spare of the moment to say something smart, something intelligent that she won't hold against me later, something like, it's what you leave behind that you're known for. And then I quickly revise and I say, well, it's who you are, what you stand for, that people remember you by and want to carry on on your behalf. But your legacy is living now too, not just when you're gone. I asked why and where did this question come from, and she said, because she wanted to know what my legacy was and what hers will be. She's eight. So I made sure to point out that she was my legacy and that hers would include many things, but most definitely her huge kind heart, selfless attitude, and love for all things crafty. I drove the next four miles from Southside Elementary to Collins thinking about pieces of my legacy, thinking about all of you. Five years ago, when you entered this building, you came roaring and ready. The world was already too small and yours for the taking. And for many of you, my classroom became your playground and your training ground. You challenged me academically and professionally like no other class had before. There was never enough work and it was never challenging enough. We took some major, major risks that year but you were worth them all. You are worth them all. I didn't know how to describe it then, but recently my pastor said something that describes it perfectly. He said, desperation makes risk seem small. That's what I realized this year, that year, or that year. I was desperate for change, so the risk was almost non-existent. And that's my first challenge for you today. Take the risk, chase the dream. Find what you're so desperate about that makes the risk seem so small and chase that thing. I have asked most of you for almost five years now, if money wasn't a factor, all your bills were paid, everyone was taken care of, what would you do for free? What would you wake up every day and love doing for free? What are you willing to sacrifice everything for? Chase that thing. I didn't want to get up at 3.30 in the morning when I was teaching you but I couldn't sleep past four o'clock. There was an unrest in my spirit. Find that thing for you. Go chase that thing. Now let me be clear. That thing I'm referencing, it's not money and it's definitely not a person. Go have fun, discover yourself, and find your purpose and your calling along the way. But in the process, don't hop on every plane or college transfer opportunity just because your boo or your best friend did. My second challenge is that you come to, an, come to the understanding that you are not defined by any one moment in your life, success or failure. People, spectators, those playing judge and jury will try to mark you by moments in your life, but that is a sign of their weakness and their failure, not yours. You are the sum, the culmination of decisions, and more times than not, there will be an opportunity for another after the last. That's grace. Extend it to yourself and others often. Revel in the good times, quickly forgive yourself in the not so good times, and continue the press forward. Behind the testimonies of every successful person is a tragedy that should have disqualified them from their success. But then, there's grace. Challenge number three is one of perpetuity. 
develop discipline. It really bothers me when people only have a just do it mentality because to me it implies that they have forgotten what the learning process looks like. Discipline must be developed. It's not a you have it or you don't characteristic. Like with any new skill or talent, it must be intentionally nurtured and practiced. And you develop discipline by feeding your habits with consistency, accountability, and patience. Take the time, make the time to develop discipline so it becomes a part of who you are. And lastly, I know this may not be the most popular thing your family wants me to say right now. About 75% of you are going to go home and your parents are going to say, I love Miss Fleming, but don't listen to that last thing she said at the end. And that's okay, listen to your family, you still need lunch money. And y'all know I don't share my food. But in all seriousness, plan and pave your own path. Some of you will leave and go to college, some of you will sit out a year or two, some of you are entering straight into the workforce. Whatever you leave here to conquer, let it be your plan, your path, your choice towards your success. There are books to consult and very experienced people all around you to provide insight, but your journey to your success doesn't have to and shouldn't look just like mine, your friends, or your parents. Plan and pave your own path. Hear me clearly. I want to tell you right now, before life happens and things change, before you are too ashamed to come back and tell us how, about your decision to deviate from the original plan, the plan you put in, into place as an emotional, indecisive teenager, before you take a break from college to figure out your life or define success by your terms, before you feel like a failure simply for pursuing your happiness. I want you to know before you are faced with the disappointments of life, we love you and are still proud of you. It is okay if it does not work out as planned. And everyone who is proud of you today will still be proud of you tomorrow, two, 10 years from now, when you haven't done it the way that you wanted to, they wanted you to, or they thought you should have. Plan and pave your own path. We love and support you regardless. Now to the families and friends of these amazing graduates, this one is a special one, really, really special for me. They were, they are my last class. Thank you for trusting me with your babies for five years. Class of 2019, you were, you are still worth the risk. You have stuff to do, lives to change, movements to lead, legacies to build. Be fearless destroy excuses in their infancy because we know excuses are tools of the incompetent used to build monuments of nothingness and those who specialize in them are seldom good for anything else. A lot of people don't like goodbyes. They would rather say, see you later. But I believe that in order to move on to a new thing, you have to truly close out the old. So today, say your goodbyes, not to your friends, not to the memories, but to yourself to this chapter. Turn the page, say goodbye to the old you, so that you can freely walk into the new, into the new that awaits. I love you. Thank you, Ms. Fleming. We begin our series of student speeches this afternoon with opening remarks from senior class president, Ms. Trené Stone. <laughs> Trené has led this year with excellence and we are happy to hear her welcome address. Good afternoon, parents, teachers, staff, administrators, and fellow graduates. Thank you for joining Martha Lane Collins High School, class of 2019 this afternoon to celebrate our commencement. As you might know, commencement doesn't mean the ending, but it means the beginning. And I am so proud to have been a member of this talented graduating class. I wanna start this speech off with gratitude. There's this quote in my favorite book called The Holy Bible, 
It's from Romans chapter 13, verse 7, and it says, Give to everyone what you owe them. If you owe taxes, then taxes. If revenue, then revenue. If respect, then respect. If honor, then honor. So I would like to give honor and thanks to all of our teachers in here and staffs at Collins for continually putting up with us. Let's be honest. Our class wasn't always the easiest class to put up with, but you still did it. As teens, we can be very self-centered, and even though we know everything, even though we fail to think twice about the hard work you do for us and the continual sacrifices you made for us. To our administrators, thank you for your dedication, support, guidance, wisdom that you have gave us. But especially Dr. Ellison for his consistency with his mission statement. That his statement shall never be forgotten and will be cherished in our hearts forever. To our families and parents, thank you for being our number one fan on this journey. Thank you for supporting us and for helping to prune us to be the best we can be. Thank you to everyone in here. I know you are here today because you know there's something extraordinary about class of 2019. When I was asked how I would or could describe our senior class, I was at loss because there was so much I could have said about this class. But finally, I got it all together. And the thing I could say about our class is that we are very strong-minded people, but also we are overcomers. We overcame a lot of changes throughout our 12 to 13 years of schooling. Many of us seniors in here can testify that we felt like guinea pigs in a mad scientist experiment over all these changes. But that didn't stop our determination to get to this point. Our class never stopped loving one another when our world became unlovable. I took joy when realizing that when one of us was in need or needed a friend or when tragedy struck, we were always there for each other. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the purest form of love and care that anyone can give. In closing, I want to end by saying congratulations to all these intelligent and outgoing seniors who I know will go far and do wonderful things. Today, we must face the realization that we are no longer seniors. I know endings are never easy, but we can overcome the uneasiness of it all and make it something beautiful. And to my friends, know this, we will always be Titans no matter where we go or what we do. Thank you. Down the center. Thank you, Trinae. We will now begin special recognitions in the class of 2019. I am pleased to say that we have two individuals in this class who are graduating having earned their associate degrees from Jefferson Community and Technical College. An associate of arts degree is basically the first half of a baccalaureate degree in arts. It is comprised of no less than 60 hours of credits and fulfills all of the requirements at any four-year institution for quantitative reasoning, written and oral communication, heritage, humanities, social behavioral science, natural sciences, and global cultural studies. In Kentucky, this degree will transfer seamlessly to any of our four-year state universities. An associate of science is the same, but guides a student toward a baccalaureate degree in sciences, which means an additional two quantitative or natural science courses. Today we recognize Ms. Isabel Chadwell for earning an Associate of Science degree and Mr. Colby Eads for earning an Associate of Arts degree. Colby, please come forward. One of our seniors, Jonna Warkentine, was selected as a National Merit semifinalist in September of 2018. Jonna has advanced and has been named a finalist in the 2019 National Merit Scholarship Program. This distinction sets her apart from her peers as it places her among the top 1% of high school students in the nation. Given this recognition, the University of Kentucky has formally offered her the Patterson Scholarship. The Patterson Scholarship is a selective scholarship that provides four years of full tuition plus a $10,000 per year housing stipend. We want to take this time and honor Jana Grace Workentine for this prestigious award. Jana, please come forward.
We continue our special recognitions by acknowledging the members of our ACT 30 plus club. Collectively, the class of 2019 will leave this school with one of the highest college and career readiness scores in the history of our school. They have done so by setting ambitious goals, taking rigorous courses, and applying themselves in their coursework to achieve their aspirations. The following students have entered the prestigious 30 plus club for receiving a score of 30 or better on the ACT. Please hold your applause until all students have been recognized. These students are Robert Broughton, Michael Collins, Brady Gehrman, Andrew Goodlett, Nicholas Haney, Kimberly Hebden, Kylie Higgins, Kathleen Hodge, Jerry Lancaster, Victor Malone, Leslie Overstreet, Lindsay Overstreet, Madeline Petty, Addison Pippin, Madeline Presley, Joshua Rydell, Bram Scroggum, Raheem Shalish, Paul Swinson, Carly Van Meter, Margaret Veal, and Jonna Warkentein. Our next group of seniors we wish to commend are graduating with the Latin title cum laude. These students who will receive medals as their names are called have earned a cumulative grade point average of at least 3.5. Please hold your applause until all students have been recognized. These students are Madison Alfrey, Daniel Anderson, Miriam Max Bennett, Noah Butler, Mackenzie Carinder, Caleb Carter, Gregory Castillo Villatoro, Calvin Kugel, Jared Eden, Daniela Herrera Hernandez, Jacob Heisel, Garrett Jeffries, Madison Jennings, Anna Kelly, Cheyenne LaGrange, 
Allison Long, Grace Maddox, Samantha Monarch, Carson Murray, Courtney Nadar, Hannah Neese, Taylor Nichols, Morgan Knoll, Alexis Peterson, Jennifer Rodriguez, Yohari Salama, Luke Sharp, Flora Sherrod, Sarah Seaver, Madison Siler, Sydney Stark, Trithaniel Stone, Riley Souter, Sarah Terry, Jaden Thompson, Chase Tuttle, Valerie Vicente, George Wofford, Caitlin Woosley, and Tyler Wertsmith. Thank you. Please be seated. Next, we will honor those individuals who have earned the title of magna cum laude, indicating a GPA of at least 3.8 with a minimum of two college-level advanced placement courses or dual credit courses along with a composite ACT score of 24 or higher. Please hold your applause until all students have been recognized. These students are Ashton Allen, Emily Brown, Kaylin Kane, Sarah Clark. Kaylee Fitzgerald, Savannah Floyd, Chloe Goff, Anna Gomez. Kimberly Hebden. Michael Hill. Kathleen Hodge. Victor Malone. Miles McGibbon, Grace Nation,
Megan Pratt. Kelsey Shuck. Bailey Souter. Abigail Spears. Carly Van Meter. Margaret Veal. and Emma Wakeman. Thank you, please be seated. The highest academic honor a student can achieve at Collins requires that students attain a GPA of 4.1 or higher while taking at least four college level advanced placement courses or dual credit courses and earning an ACT score of 26 or higher. These students have earned the title of summa cum laude. Please hold your applause until all students have been recognized. These students are Jeremy Call, Lyndon Carson, Isabel Chadwell, William Klein, Caitlin Donahoe, Colby Eads, Connor Fink, Abby Gearman, Brady Gearman. Caitlin Gearman, Andrew Goodlett, Kylie Higgins, Emma Lanter, Mary Claire McGibbon. Anna Mercer, Brianna Oliver, Leslie Overstreet, Lindsay Overstreet, Madeline Petty. Madeline Presley, Joshua Rydell, Raheem Shalish, Kayla Spears, Shelby Wallace, Jonna Workentine and Sarah Zimmerman.
Thank you. You may please be seated. Every year, high schools across the country recognize the top students in the class with the opportunity to speak at their graduations. We continue in that tradition today. Our next student speech will be given by the Martha Lane Collins High School Salutatorian of the Class of 2019. This young man represents the dedication, persistence, and excellence that runs throughout this graduating class. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Andrew Goodlett to the podium. Fellow Titans, parents, family, and distinguished guests, thank you for gathering in celebration of our graduating class of 2019. I speak on behalf of all of my classmates when I say, we couldn't have gotten here without you. Before I say anything else, as I stand before you today, if you don't remember anything I say, I want you to remember these three words, we are ready. So I made a decision a few nights ago. <laughs> I am a proud member of the Collins Varsity baseball team. We are the district champions and boarding a bus two day after graduation to go to Northern Kentucky to play in our regional tournament. In the spirit of unity and brotherhood, my teammates and I decided to dye our hair as a team bonding ritual. If you know my dad, and many of you do, you know that this isn't something he would support. <laughs> but when I told him of the plan, I received an answer I was not expecting. He said, I love you, have fun, go for it. What I realized in that moment is that what he was really telling me was you are ready. Ready to make some of your own decisions. Ready, ready to accept the consequences of those decisions. Ready for the next chapter in my story. All of us have people in our lives that have helped us get where we are today. Whether that be a coach, a parent, a family member, a pastor, a teacher, or a principal, we didn't make it here alone. Let's set our eyes on where we're going, but let's not forget where we came from and who helped us get there. We are ready. My mom's asked me to put my cat back on for this next part. As we look ahead to the future, we can't help but also be reminded of the past. Some of us have lived in Shelbyville our entire lives and watched each other grow up. Some are newer to the community. But no matter what, for each and every one of us graduating in this room today, we are part of each other's story. Some of the chapters in our story have involved academic success and championship titles. Other chapters involve disappointing grades, losses, and even tragedy. We know that our story will not always be a happy one. We will be faced with tough times. This past February, we lost Blake Palmer, a student and baseball player at Shelby County High School in a tragic car accident. It was devastating to our entire community What I learned from Blake's family, and I hope we all learned, is that when we go through a tough time, if we don't grow, grow closer to God, closer to our family, closer to our community, then all we did was go through a tough time. It is all about these experiences we have in life and how we grow from them that determines the next part of our journey. We are ready. This county, this town, 
this building. It's where our story began, and it's to be continued. Let's turn the page, class of 2019, and say those three words with me. We are ready. Thank you. The title valedictorian is a coveted designation awarded to the student with the highest academic rank in the graduating class. Earning this title at Martha Lane Collins High School requires a consistent demonstration of intellectual talent, unparalleled commitment to academic success, and a competitive greatness. While the valedictorian of the class of 2019 is out of town today, engaged in the world's odyssey of the mind competition with our school team, we still want to acknowledge her. The Martha Lane Collins High School's class of 2019 valedictorian is Miss Isabel Chadwell. Can we give her a round of applause? <laughs> Senior chorus members, you may join the chorus at this time.
as we approach the conferring of diplomas, I want to say to this class that there is truly greatness among you. You are a special class, for you have been one of the strongest academic classes in the short history of Martha Lane Collins High School. Your class earned over $4.1 million in scholarship awards toward higher education and further vocational studies. You are a class of great personality, and you are a class full of potential. Secondly, seniors, I want you to consider the work that has taken place over your high school careers. Our goal at this school was to ensure that each of you had a plan, not for today, but for tomorrow. A plan for the day after graduation. A plan for your future. To achieve this, the faculty and staff of this school has worked hard to live up to a very clear mission. You all were not gonna escape without hearing it one more time. The mission of Martha Lane Collins High School is to graduate every student, college and or career ready, through positive collaboration, systems of support, and a commitment to excellence for all. The fact that you have arrived at this moment today is proof positive that we have achieved this mission with you. Today, you are graduating college and career ready. Today, you are transitioning on to greater things. Today, you stand on the precipice of executing your plan for your tomorrow. Now, understand that this transition from Martha Lane Collins High School comes with a great deal of accumulated knowledge. But here's my request of you, class of 2019. Do not just be knowledgeable, be wise. Something my father taught me as a teenager was the difference between knowledge and wisdom. See, knowledge is the accumulation and storage of information. Wisdom, on the other hand, is the proper application of that accumulated knowledge. And while you have learned a lot of information and gained a lot of knowledge in these last five years at Collins, I now challenge you to make proper application of that knowledge and be wise. But don't just apply the knowledge you have gained during your time here. Continue to learn. Gain knowledge from your selected institutions of post-secondary study. Gain knowledge from whatever branch of the military in which you choose to serve. Gain knowledge from the workplace you choose to join. Gain knowledge from all of the experiences that life may bring your way. But then be wise in applying that knowledge in order to make our world a better place. Understand that the road ahead will not be without challenge. It will not be without some adversity. But please understand that this discomfort is not a bad thing. Learn to lean into challenge and adversity, for they will help you to grow. And as you grow, you will build the strength and confidence you need to be wise contributing members of our global society. There is greatness in this graduating class, and that greatness will emerge as you demonstrate your wisdom to the world. Class of 2019, thank you for being an example of what hard work, dedication, commitment, and focus can do. It is with much love that we wish you much success on the journey ahead. Remember who you are and whose you are. Once a Titan, always a Titan, and we will always welcome you home. As we approach the seminal moment of your high school journey, the conferring of your high school diploma, I leave you with the words of an old Irish blessing. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind always be at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face, and may rains fall soft upon your field. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. I promised I was not going to do that, and I did it, so, so much for that. And now, with the assistance of Dr. James Nyhoff, Superintendent of Schools and Board Chairperson Mr. Andrew Klein, 
and other platform guests, we will confer diplomas to those students who have satisfactorily completed the coursework set forth by the faculty and staff of Martha Lane Collins High School. Ladies and gentlemen, out of respect to all graduates, the students have asked that you hold your applause until their last classmate's name has been called. Matthew Lee Aguilar, Ashton Ann Allen, Madison Paige Alfrey, Rosalinda Beatrice Alas, Megan Lee Alfrey, Geralda Antonio Almarez, Aurelio Alvarado Perez, Daniel Christopher Anderson, Ryan James Anderson, Anthony Ryan Anderson Bobe, Christian Angel Rivera, Mallory Elizabeth Armanderez Cook, Emily Lynn Atwood, Ashlyn McKenna Austin, Lucas Anthony Banta, Victoria Lynn Blondella Bast, Webb Stephen Bates, Hunter Augustine Bennett, Richard Wayne Bennett Jr., Jonathan Wesley Blackburn, Dwayne Lee Bowen II, Robert Wesley Broughton, Anna Hadassah Jail Brown, <laughs> Emily Ruth Guanji Brown, Jalen Mintrell Brownlee, Jessica Aaron Buckler, <laughs> Taylor Ray Burton, Noah Michael Butler. Curtis Wayne Button, Kaylin Leanne Kane, Jeremy Samuel Call, Christian Matthew Carrasco, Mackenzie Hope Carinder, Sarah Nicole Carroll, Lyndon Claire Carson. Gregory Gazelle Castillo Viatoro, Jordan Ann Nicole Case, Sarah Elizabeth Clark, John Nicholas Chepo, Michael Joseph Collins, William Edward Klein, Calvin Kugel the Fourth. To Kavion Cochran. To Kana Xavier Latisse Cochran. Jeffrey Allen Cook. James Logan Kokenauer. Kajan Omar Crittenden. Andrew Tyler Dadisman. Maxwell Andrew Dalio. Elizabeth Brianne Dauphinball, Luis Otilio De Leon Alvarado, Taylor Ray Decker, Corey Diaz, Gavin Dane Didier, Caitlin Elizabeth Donahoe, Tanner Scott Drury, Colby Ray Eads. Jared Tomas Eden. Samuel William Edwards. Brandon Troy Evington. 
Anaya Shanice Evans. Connor Michael Fink. Kaylee Michelle Fitzgerald. Savannah Lee Floyd. Braylon McCall Gant. Kimberly Diane Hebden. Chloe Louise Goff. Abby Nicole Gearman. Anna Jean Gomez. Brady Thomas Gearman. Andrew Hunter Goodlett. Caitlin Ray Gearman. Heather May Griffin. Myria Jane Grantham. John Richard Gross. Tyler Brian Griggs. Jaslyn Rose Hatzel. Juan David Gutierrez Azorio. Nicholas Scott Haney. Aaron Elizabeth Hamlet. Jaslyn Irene Marie Harper. Kylie Faye Harp. Cameron Blake Harris. Jessica Faith Harper. Gian Lenal Hayes. Sierra Marie Hawk. Andrew James Hager. Abigail Christine Herrick. Enrique Hernandez. Juan Antonio Hernandez. Rudy Hernandez. Daniela Herrera Hernandez. Brock Daniel Hershey. Kylie Elizabeth Higgins. Michael Scott Hill. Sylvia Ray Hinton. Jacob Nolan Heisel. Kathleen Elizabeth Hodge. Nicole Roxana Hogan. Isaac Luis Tumax Holland. Michael Christian Irvin. Donald Hutchins. Sylvia Jackson. Paige Lillian Jackson. Garrett Nell Jeffries. Nathan Thomas Jacobs. Andre Quinn Johnson. Madison Ray Jennings. Anna Elizabeth Kelly. Chelsea Lynn Joplin. Dane Stewart Kidwell. Catherine Hunter Kelly. Cheyenne Jasmine LaGrange. Anna Janae King. Emma Catherine Bell Lanter. Jerry Lynn Lancaster III. Estefania Miranda Leal. Caden Stone Lay. Devin James Lloyd. Baron Steele Lee. Haley Sheeling Lowe. Allison Taylor Long. Victor Eugene Malone the Fourth. Grace Elizabeth Maddox. Cameron Jacoby Mattingly. Jacoby Manuel Matias. Sophia Catherine Mazarakis. Skyler Ray McCluskey. Stephen Wayne McFall III. Donovan Taylor McMahon. Mary Claire Talbot McGibbon. Miles Edward McGibbon. Anna Grace Mercer. Zamara Fernanda Merida Lopez. Ezekiel Metz. Gabriel Vincent Migliori. 
Ernesto Zacharias Miranda. Michael Ray Mitchell, Jr. Samantha Ann Monarch. Kirsten Aaliyah Moore. Michaela Jade Morris. Zachary Lee Morris. Kenyon Jacob Thomas Murphy. Carson Rain Murray. Courtney Lynn Najar. Grace Alexandra Nation. Hannah Alexandra Nice. Taylor Ray Nichols. Brianna Rael Oliver. Morgan Taylor Knoll. Leslie Nicole Overstreet. Charlotte Elizabeth Parker. Lindsay Renee Overstreet. Michael Angelo Pacheco. Evan Blake Payne. Alexis Jolene Peterson. Madeline Tinsley Petty. Addison Finn Pippen. Megan Owen Pratt. Madeline Whitney Presley. Jasmine Nicole Price. Ethan Reed Pruitt. Zoanna Elise Rao. Julia Elizabeth Randolph. Alicia Lee Reeder. Troy Alwyn Rawlings, Jr. Andrew Lee Renfro. Hallie Grace Renfro. Joshua Darren Riddell. Elizabeth Nicole Richard. Katherine Olivia Roberts. Elena Renee Richardson. Jennifer Anae Rodriguez. Matthew Scott Evan Roden. Guadalupe Ide Rosales. Andrea Lisbeth Rojas. Yohari Safi Suzanne Salama. Joshua Logan Rowe. Zadalis Janet Sanchez. Mary Lou Sanchez. Nathaniel William Sangster. Jack Edward Samford. Kyla June Souls. Alex Satterwhite. Aldrich William Senecal IV. Bram McKay Scroggum. Luke Camden Sharp. Raheem Hamdala Shalish. Flora Baylor Sherrod. Michael Andrew Sharp. Kelsey Noel Shuck. Kylie Ray Shoemaker. Sarah Emily Seaver. Wesley Paul Sirkowski. Madison Danielle Seiler. Johnny Edward Sigmund Jr. Sarah May Smith. Kaylee Grace Smith. Bailey Danielle Souder. Harrison Heu Solis. Sydney Renee Stark. Abigail Parker Spears. Malia Braxton Stevens. Kayla Jean Spears. Yenis Lady Swastigi. Trine Francesca Malin Stone. Riley Elizabeth Suter. Trithaniel Alonda Stone. Moses Tejeda. Paul Robert Swinson. Jaden Isaiah Thompson. Sarah Faith Terry. Leanna Marie Trevino. 
Sakari Lorenzo Toole. Carly Lynn Van Meter. Chase Scott Tuttle. Margaret Rebecca Veal. Diana Vasquez Hernandez. Enrique Colin Villalobos. Valerie Natividad Vicente. Emma Grace Wakeman. George Ryan Walford. Hunter Walls. Shelby L. Wallace. Jonna Grace Workentine. Trinity Michelle Warfield. Daisha Helen Alexis Wentworth. Deandria Alexis Cherie Wells. Caitlin Ann Woosley. Mercedes Ann Woods. Tyler McKay Wordsmith. Lakeisha Wright. Sarah Catherine Zimmerman. Chastity Noel Yoakum. Bianca Paola Galicia. Skyler Michael Zoller. Braden Foster Ingert. Jose Angel Limas Barrera. Landon Christopher Dillo. Micah Joseph Nichols. Kendasha Diana Blackburn. Caleb Logan Carter. Jaden Laniel Wilson. Lexis Luis Pullen. Dulce Jasmine Rojas Anaya. Juan Antonio Armenta. Jose Ernesto Gudina. The students have asked that when we are finished today, all guests remain in the stands as we complete the graduation ceremony and allow the graduates to exit the building together one last time. They will gladly reunite with you in our front courtyard. Would the seniors please rise? Dr. Nyhoff, members of the Board of Education, platform guests, parents, family members, and friends, it is my pleasure to announce that the students before you have successfully achieved the academic standards established by the Great Commonwealth of Kentucky and the Shelby County Board of Education and are life ready. Some have demonstrated readiness by meeting benchmarks, while others have demonstrated readiness through projects and life experiences. As with all graduating classes, the class of 2019 will go in different directions when they walk through these doors. Some have certifications and are ready to serve in the world of work. Others will serve our country in the military, while others will continue their education at a college or university. Above all else, this collection of outstanding young men and women has demonstrated the readiness skills necessary to be productive citizens and serve others. Class of 2019, you have made your mark in defining what it means to be a titan by leaving a legacy of leadership, service, and academic success. Thank you for blazing a path of hard work, dedication, commitment, and success in which other titans will surely follow. I ask board chairperson Mr. Andrew Klein to join me at the podium at this time. Mr. Klein, please know that this class understands 
that they graduate with the expectation of becoming productive citizens in whatever community they reside. Furthermore, they understand that they represent Martha Lane Collins High School and all of Shelby County in doing so. Having received a diploma signifying them as a graduate, I deem them as such a member of the Martha Lane Collins High School graduating class of 2019. Seniors, your final act together will be a time-honored tradition. You enter today as students with your tassel on the right. And so, by the authority vested in me by the Kentucky Department of Education and the Shelby County Board of Education, I ask that you move your tassel from the right to the left. You are now graduates of Martha Lane Collins High School. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct pleasure to proudly present to you the Martha Lane Collins High School Class of 2019. <laughs> 